Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. And I just feel prophetically that God wants to speak today, even before we get on the line, that this word, praise God, is going to literally uh, transform and change our lives. This word is going to cause us to operate in a different dimension. Praise God. So we thank God for you, bless God, that are online, you that are on call, on the conference call, praise God. We just bless God. But I get a sense that God is saying this word is going to uh, uh, invade our lives and give us the advantage. This word is going to swoop in as we embrace this word, as we hold fast to this word, as we hear this word, this word would be like uh, no other word, praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And God has put before us the question, praise God. Are you spending time or is time spending you? Are you spending time or is time spending you? Praise God. One more time. The question is uh, uh, for this class online, I'm on, phone, on the phone call, praise God. Are you spending time or is time spending you? And this question also is for you, praise God. Are you spending time or is time spending you? And we want to look at a verse that we can spring from. from and this is Ephesians 5, uh, the Amplified Version. It says, making the very most of your time on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence because the days are Feel with evil. Praise be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name yeah. of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we want to look at this very first part, making the most of your time on earth. And when we think about the God that we serve has given us a wealthy gift. In fact, nothing will beat time. You can't pay for time. No matter how much money you have, no matter how influential you may be, there's no one that can sell time. There's no one that can purchase time. It is a gift from God. We do not know whether we have uh, the next moment or the next uh, uh, 20 years or what have you. But wow. one thing we do know that in the course of the day of time, he's given us uh, 24 hours. Uh, and sometimes we look at a week and we say 24 and seven, praise God. But are you spending time or is time spending you? What are you doing with the gift of time? Oh, praise God. What are we doing with the greatest wealth transfer that God could give us today? And that's the gift of time, praise God. We want to look at that wealth in a little different dimension today, praise God. Uh, are you spending time or is time spending you? And we want to look for a moment, praise God, at the Proverbs 13, 4. And it says something very interesting. It says, the soul of the sluggard desireth and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Have you been yeah. diligent with your time? Or have you allowed time to be like an elusive lover that just keep on passing you by? Have you allowed yourself to really think about an investment in time, an investment in time. What have you invested in time? Let's just say you got up this morning. What did you invest? And if you did invest, uh, can you remember what you invested? Did you do it with focus? Did you do it with intention? Uh, it's like having money. When you go to the store, you don't just take your money, just throw it out into the airways. You don't just take yeah. your money and just throw it up in the air and say, oh, come what be, praise God. Now, we're not trying to set up a structure for rituals. We're not trying to set up a structure for religion. Uh, I just sense God wants to talk about this thing called time. I sense that this is a fruitful time that God is opening some things up and he's showing his children how to get more bang for your buck, praise God. Oh, praise yeah. Jesus. Amen. The soul of the slugger desire and have nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. The soul of the one that say, you know what? 
I might need to listen to this. Uh, I might not want to take this word so casually. It could be that God is saying something that would change my life and that of my family and my generation. It could be that God is about to speak to me something that would change the course of history, that would change the course of this nation. Can I afford at this time to listen with a lukewarm attitude? Can I afford at this time to listen with a, a spirit of mediocrity can i afford to half listen because whatever attention that i give to time and to what's going on now will be what i will reap up out of it we have a picture on the side of us today and this is a field and this field has a of what people have planted in this field. And you can see the growth of what they planted come up. And right in the midst of this field is a clock, praise God. So what have you done in the field of time? What have you sown on purpose in the field of time? Now we pray God that you've sown some things that are contrary to the will of God. We're right now asking God to forgive us. Lord, have mercy on our soul, God. Let the canker worm eat up every harvest, Father God, that was not sown for the glory of God, oh Father. Oh God, let your blood wash us and cleanse us in Jesus' name. It's time spending you or are you spending time, praise God? Uh, has time been so valuable to you that you prayed about time? When was the last time you prayed about time? God, you've given me a valuable gift here. When was the last time you considered time to be a gift from God? You've given me a valuable Thank gift, God. but Lord, what do I do with it to bring you glory? How do I handle it? How do you want me to react, oh Lord? God in time, praise God. We know, praise God, that Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So we know he's not come and try to put us in a place where there's no joy and uh, everything has to be ritual, ritualistic or what have you. But God does have a purpose in why he's saying what he's saying. He's saying, and I do prophesy for those that will listen, praise God, this is going to shift your life. You're going to be yeah. sitting at home at some point after this message, uh, sometime during this week, and the Holy Spirit is going to touch you, nudge you, and, uh, and remind you of some things. He's going to remind you about some wealthy investments in time that you can make uh, that'll bring forth a harvest that you can plant with great intention, praise God. But we're talking about the slugger. Yeah. The slugger desires, but he don't want to do nothing to cause his desires to come to pass. Proverbs 20 and 4. Yeah. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the coal. Therefore, shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It means that excuses, weak excuses in this hour will not do. Uh, When we stand before the king of glory, he will not be accepting weak excuses. He will not be accepting, I didn't feel like it. He will not be accepting, I didn't know. Uh, uh, He will not be accepting, uh, uh, uh. The uh, problem that we can get out, bless God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Proverbs 6, 9. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? Uh, Could it be that even right now, God is shaking us, uh, wanting us to rise, uh, wanting us to wake to a better day, wanting us to rise up to a better future, wanting us to rise up past the storm clouds? Uh, Could it be that God is summoning us uh, to come higher at this hour, to wake up? Could it be that we've not seen the beauty, the glory, the grace of God that he wants us to see? see and he doesn't want us to miss our moment praise god oh thank you jesus Uh, now this might be kind of rough for somebody and these are not my words but this is proverbs 6 and 9 and this is from the message bible praise god and uh, i want you to hold on and buckle up because the message bible uh, is speaking here it says you lazy fool look at an ant watch it closely let it teach you a thing or two nobody has to tell it what to do all summer it stores up food at harvest it stockpiles provision 
So how long are you going to go going to laze around doing nothing? How long before you get out of bed? A nap here, a nap there, a day off here, a day off there, sit back, take it easy. Do you know what comes next? Just this. You can look forward to a dirt poor life, poverty, your permanent house guest. Oh my God. The message Bible gives us a, 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 a answer. It says, look at the answer. In this moment in time, it's just like our God. You know, we often talk about, uh, uh, and I believe Danielle prayed about, he takes the foolish things to confine the wise. And here the message uh, Bible says, look at an ant. And somebody might say, what does an ant have to do with this? Do you know what's going on in the world today? What does an ant have to do with my future? What does an ant have to do? What can an ant tell me? And we're not going to hang out here long today because this may be a three, four, five part message. We don't know because we got to deal with what the Holy Spirit had us to get about these ants. Praise God. So we went, looked yeah. up at a quest uh, at what we felt like was the unction of the Holy Spirit to learn some things about ants. Praise God. And it was said that the ants are diligent and hardworking. Yeah. Uh, they are diligent and hardworking. They are never lazy not poor or hungry, sustain, um, uh, sustain. Uh, they have an effort of hard work. They know how to work hard. Now, these are ants we're talking about. Uh, they're not poor and they're not hungry because they know how to work. They know how to uh, get things done. Uh, uh, they can, uh, they are self-motivated. Uh, you don't have to hold a stick over their head and say, now you need to do this. It's time to do that. Uh, they're not limited by size, lack, or location. Ants don't make excuses. They get things done. Are you getting things done out there? Are you pleased with what's going on and how you're handling life and how you're handling all your business? Are you pleased about that? Ants are, are willing to work together. My God. Oh, in other words, they know about unity, praise God. They know about the power of coming together and a, a two is better than one, praise God. Uh, they work for a common good. Are we working for the good of the whole? Are we working for a common good? Um, they are self-discipline. Uh, they are excellent uh, strategic planners. They know how to plan with precision. They have organizational skills. My goodness, just look at this. Ants. Ants teach us the necessity to plan ahead. Ants teaching us to plan ahead. Ants teaching us uh, you ought to pray ahead. Uh, you ought to fast ahead of time. You ought to keep up your strength ahead of time because you don't know what the next season is going to bring. You don't know what the next day is going to bring. So you ought to keep yourself prepared. My God. Ants, um, uh, they teach us, they store their food during seasons of plenty so they will have adequate amounts in times of scarcity. Anybody been looking at what's going on lately? Praise God. They're storing up their food. They're meditating on the word. They're swallowing the word. They're chewing it up. Praise God. They also plan seasons of work and of rest uh, to prevent burnout. In other words, they just don't get so busy, busy, busy that they just know really good. They don't suffer burnout because they plan to rest. They know the advantage that you got to rest. They know Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. They know the Bible tells us to enter into the rest of God. They know the, the Bible says that he that has ceased from his uh, uh, works uh, have entered into the rest of God. That means that you're through working it out and trying to figure it out and you've allowed God to take the case, praise God. Uh, they work, um, they do teamwork, okay? We're already talking about unity. Ants know that they can accomplish more together than working alone. My God, my God, my God. Uh, they set goals and work together to achieve them. Praise God. Well, you might want to do your own discovery on ants. Uh, that's enough for that lesson today. But let's look at time, time, time. What does time say to you? 
time, first of all, carries a message. Time carries a message. And that message is don't play with me. Don't play with me. You can't afford to play with me, praise God. If you're in a boxing ring and there you are, and there's time on the other side, time looks at you and says, don't play with me. You need to be doing the right thing at the right time. You need to be maximizing every moment. You need to be taking advantage of the time that God has given you here upon this earth. Praise God. You can yes, play yes. in time. God wants us to rest. We have families. We do different things of activity for uh, enjoyment or what have you. But whatever you do, don't play with time. Praise God. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now the question come the Holy Spirit put before me uh, is uh, you can drift or you can shift. You can keep on going like you've been doing. Uh, you can keep on, praise God. But as you drift, know that time keeps moving on, praise God. And yeah. as you drift, know that you can't make up that back time, no matter how you wish you had done this. Uh, that day is gone. We can't change where we've been. But now that we go forward, and may the Lord forgive us for all the time we wasted, uh, all the things that we neglected to do that we should have did, and for the things that we did that we should not have done, may God forgive us. Father, wash us with the blood of Jesus. Let us start anew. Instead of drifting, we need to be shifting, shifting to a new way of life, shifting to hear the voice of God and be busy about doing what the Spirit of God is instructing us to do. Oh, bless God. Are you spending time or is time spending you? Have you lived a life that's been spent by time? You are all out of whack and out of order, praise God. Or have you been diligent with your time? Have you invested in your time? Have you just been a uh, 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 one who has been just really on target doing those things that God has put in your heart to do? Praise God. Uh, in time, let's look at this. Have we taken the time to think? Have we taken the time to think? The Bible said, as a man think of, so is he in his heart. Uh, have we just sit and been entertained by entertainment, uh, but we have not taken some of that precious time? What were five minutes? Look how rich you are. Look how wealthy you are. Oh my God. Just say you could take five minutes. I'm going to take five minutes when I get off this line and I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to just think about the goodness of the Lord. I, that's yes, what I want to yes. think about. First of all, I want to think about the goodness of the Lord. We used to sing a song coming along when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Thinking, taking time Time to think, praise God. Think on those things that are good and just and a pure and good report. Thinking on those things that are lovely, those yeah. things that God will have us to think upon, not things that will make us sink, but things that will make us rise, praise God. Oh, yes. Spending time. Just say you got five minutes. Uh, you know, I can just sense the Lord looking at us sometime. And I'm I'm paraphrasing. This is just me. And if, you know, thank God I am not God. But I'm thinking, don't you have five minutes of time for you? Martha, Martha didn't have time. Jesus, the presence of the Lord was on the scene. But she still didn't have time. She had to go on with business as usual. She had to go on when you got the greatest house. Yes. When you got the presence of royalty, the king of glory in your midst. And the thing about it is we are the temple of God. God dwells on the inside of us. How much time do we spend talking to the Holy Spirit? How much time in a day do we have five minutes and say, Holy Spirit, I'm just thankful for you. So many times you kept me out of trouble and hot water. So many times I was driving on the expressway. I would have changed lanes, but uh, you kept me. So many times, praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I see Deborah has put up a scripture, Second Corinthians said, for he says, in time, in the time of my favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, yes. 
I help you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the time of salvation. Look at that, how God interjects that. Oh God, I got to put this up on the thing. I got to put this up because yes. God is letting us know right now, say, not only do I want you to prioritize time, but I have some things that I've set in motion for time. I spent some time on you. You know, God spent time at Calvary for us. He spent time praying yes. in the Garden of Gethsemane for us. He spent time in the bowels of hell for us, praise God. Oh, and he's spending time now still walking with us and talking with us. And now he lets us know, hey, I've set aside times of favor for you. But my question is, what time have we set aside for God? What kind of time have we set aside for him? Have we taken five minutes uh, uh, and said, you know, God, I just want to praise you this day from my own heart. Have we taken uh, 10 minutes and said, God, you know, I just want to be still and know that you're God. Have we looked at, at that clock and have we begin to take authority over this flesh of ours and command ye our soul to bless the Lord? I remember yeah, a time yeah. that I went to wash some clothes and the clothes dried and I had all these clothes, you know, you're just taking them out the dryer and you're bringing them up. And my thoughts were, I don't feel like uh, folding these clothes and putting them up. But God reminded me of a poem that he had given me. I hope I can find that and read it for you sometime. But it was talked about redeeming the time. And it says you can take five minutes to make that bed. You don't have to be spirit led. And then it also said something about um the time that you can take 10 minutes and, and fold those clothes 10 minutes for this time that's prioritizing that's looking look how wealthy you are but the mindset has to be that i'm going to accomplish this i'm going to invest in 10 minutes and i'm going to get this done the mindset has to be i'm going to accomplish this i may not fast my breakfast but i'm going to fast lunch i'm going to get this done and i won't eat to dinner or i may want to fast this whole day i may want to fast this whole month praise god i may want a lifestyle of fasting praise god prioritizing investing in time or uh, in time how long will it take one phone call you to call one person to encourage one person praise god oh my god that's investing in time for the glory of god praise god investing in time praise god oh thank you jesus praise god and in time you know as we thinking about different things uh, it's powerful about our thoughts because in, in our conscious mind we can have a whole lot of things but as we dwell on those things and we begin those things go into our subconscious whatever you have put there you can find that the subconscious is working to cause that thing to be a reality. Now, if you sit around like Job and Job said, the things that I feared has come upon me. We know Job suffered a great loss. Uh, he pondered. He let us know through the scripture, hey, I feared some things. And as a result, now his subconscious has a hold of that. So now that uh, is wanting to burst some things out uh they it, the self-conscious yeah. the subconscious does not um uh discriminate whatever you swallow it wants to create huh whatever you we swallow yeah. it wants to if you swallow it you chew on it long enough uh, that thing that somebody did you wrong you're gonna have birth out some unforgiveness gonna come up some doors gonna pop on some company gonna come in so we want to think in time on purpose uh, we want to guard our hearts in time on purpose uh, we want to say you know i need to stop and i need to guard against this thought you know i need to stop because i can't let the media feed me all this fear you know i need to stop and prioritize and see where i am digesting Digesting this stuff, see where this stuff is going. Cause some of this stuff I don't need to think on. I don't need to swallow. Praise God. Are you spending time? Or is time spending you? Praise God. Amen. We're gonna take a few, just a couple more minutes, and we're gonna jump off of here. Ephesians. Um, let's do Ecclesiastes 3:1. There's a season, a time appointed for everything. And a time for every delight and event a purpose under heaven. God has given us time. There is time. But where do we go from here? Will we spend time? Will we look at time as a gift from God? 
And when we, we, we share with God our gift, he should be in the midst of that time. How much time do we walk yeah. conscious of the presence of the Lord? How much time when we in prayer, do we marinate in the advantage of having God right there with us? Emmanuel, yeah. God with us, marinating in his presence. He said, I want you to marinate. I want you to think on me. I want you to know that I'm with you, praise God. I want you to know that my presence is here. And in my presence, there's fullness of joy. I want you to marinate in my word. I want you to marinate because I want you to take the time, just like we would marinate some meat and we marinate the meat and we put it in a bowl or what have you in a, some kind of fragrance, some kind of marinade so that it can take on a new taste or what have you, a tenderness or what have you. We do that because we want to see change. Why not let's advantage and take the advantage and marinate in the the presence of God. Just take a moment. You could just be going through a room and then all of a sudden bring God, go into, bring, go into that conscious mind, bring God into the picture. Focus in on the spirit of God, praise God. He's given us that ability to do so. God is spirit to spirit. He's given us that ability to do so. We are one with God. The Bible says he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Spirit, have you considered what that looked like today, God? One spirit, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. One spirit, it's like coming together. It's like seeing Kool-Aid and water all mixed together. You can't tell one from the other. And marinating in that place, what does God want to release to us through the power of marinating, through the power of meditation? But we've not invested the time. 10 minutes? What will I give 10 minutes to today? What will I give a half an hour to today? Sometimes we can give Netflix hours and hours, huh? Sometimes we can give shopping hours and hours or talking about things that maybe we might not should be talking about on the phone, hours and hours or what have you. Let's begin to reprioritize that time. Because we want to invest in the field of time. We want a harvest that will bring God glory. We want a harvest that will cause God to say, well done, that good and faithful servant. We want a harvest that will cause us to take on strength, that we can have strength to be a witness for God. We want a harvest so we can see the power of God, the demonstration of the power of God. So therefore, we want to give ourselves, give God some time in this time, praise God, in our lives, because we recognize he's eternal. He does not need time, praise God. He's placed us in a moment of time, praise God, that we may spend eternity with him. Uh, we have Tasha says, okay, praise God. Let's put this here. Tasha says, uh, the ant is, is hard working, Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your yeah. labor, who good God, Tasha, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah. Praise God, yeah. always abounding in the work of the Lord. In time, let's yeah. bring God more into our time. Let's bring God, you know, more into our home, getting up in the morning. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Walking through our home, yeah. thanking God that we have running water. Thanking God that we have food to eat. Thanking God that we have clothes to wear. How much time have we spent today thanking God? How much time in the average of the week? If we would call, uh, look at it and think about it, how much time have we thought about thanking God, thanking God for his presence, thanking God for saving and sanctifying us and filling us with the Holy Ghost. Father, I just thank you for your touch right now. I thank and praise you, Father, for Jesus. He was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Oh, God, I thank you for your presence today. In thy presence, Father, there's such fullness of joy. I thank you for being our Jehovah Jireh. Oh, God, God, I thank you, Lord God, that the provisions of the Lord shall be seen in my life. I thank you that there's no lack in my life. God, I thank you for what a good yes. shepherd you are. You know, it matters who yes. you spend time with. That means that there's a manifestation that comes when you spend time with individuals. If you're spend, spending yes. time with a, 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 a gossiper, somewhere there will be a manifestation at some place in your life, praise God. If you're spending time with yes. Jesus. If you're spending time with the Holy Spirit, look at the investment. Look at that 
feel, praise God. Look at that feel, praise God and see what a seed does. A seed will come up. And as we go through this week class, praise Jesus, we want to spend time. We want to spend time. If you don't feel like, just say you got dishes to wash and you don't feel like it, remind yourself, I'm going to spend 10 minutes and I'm going to do what I need to do. In 10 minutes, I'll be through. Yeah. You take authority over time. You take authority over yeah. that moment. You take authority. Or you're sitting there and uh, the enemy tries to worry you about something uh, and, and you're struggling. You're trying to figure it out. No. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to take time to put this in the hand of God. I'm going to take time yeah. to not yeah. be bothered by anything. I'm going to enter into the rest of God. And later, maybe I'll come back yeah. and talk to God about the situation. You take the authority over your time. Take your time back. If you're going to look at a movie, do it in peace. Why look at a movie and then and prayerfully it's a movie that God will have you to look at. But why look at it and your mind is tossed and driven about a whole bunch of things? Why not enjoy the narrative? Listen for the Holy Spirit to bring you some thoughts from that uh, movie. He may give you a concept for how to do something. He may update you. He may speak to you about the word of God through that praise God. But you take the authority. You decide you're going to look at it in peace and you're going to kick worry out. Taking the authority some days. How long will it take you to kick fear out your mind? Just rise up and you know, yeah. I'm going to take about a couple of minutes and this devil is going to get back up off of me because yeah. I smell his yeah. breath and he has got to go in the name of Jesus. And you're going to prioritize that time and you're going to be intentional and you're going to take command and take authority and do as Luke 10, 19 says, Jesus said, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by an enemy hurt you. You got a right to put him out your mind. You you have a right to put them out yeah. your house. Yeah. You have a right not to be harassed. You have a right not to let trespassers on your turf, on your ground, praise God. But it depends on what you decide to do in time. Will you continually let time spin you like you're in a washing machine, spinning you from one cycle to anxiety, to worry, to frustration, to hopelessness, to this, to that? Or will you decide to push that power button and decide, bless God, that you're going to spend time. It'll be you will spend time. You will wash. You will decide what will whirl up out your life. You will cast out devils in the name of Jesus. Praise God. You will do those things. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Now, let's do one more and we're going to close this out because we want you to take time. This is what a blessing comes in. You are going to take time this week. Work the clock. Work the clock. Yeah. And I find it to be rather fun in a sense that you can take command. There were days that I needed to clean a certain room or something. So I don't feel. But then the Holy Spirit reminded me, 15 minutes and you will be through. 15 minutes and you will be through. Take charge. Take authority. Go in and do that thing. Praise God. Oh, I need to read my Bible. Hmm. You don't even have to read for half an hour. You don't have to study for 16 hours. But just prioritize some of that time. Praise Jesus. Yes. Spend time. Don't let time spin yes. you. Don't let yourself be tossed and driven. God, Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So let's yeah. sow fruitful seeds in this hour. You know, if we're going to rest, let's rest for real in time, huh? If we're going to yeah. uh, cook or whatever we're going to do, let's try to enjoy it the best we can, praise Jesus. Yeah. Chores in time. Let's just make a decision. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't want to do this. That No, I'll just choose to go in, get those clothes out the dryer, fold them, put them up. Choose. Yeah. Do that dusting. Yeah. Choose. That book that you've been saying you're going to read forever, you ain't got to it yet. You've not got to it yet. Why? Because you're not invested in time. Time and to invest in time comes with priority. It comes with authority. It comes, praise mm -hmm. God, with a decision. I'm going to take 15 minutes and I'm going to read through this book today. 
Huh? Thank you. Yes. Let's get some things accomplished for the glory of God. Praying in the yes. presence of the Lord. Oh my God, my God, my God. Jesus told yes. his disciples, you. you can tear with me one hour. You can pray for one hour. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. You can pray. Ah, oh, the board says a great door has been opened for me. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Amen. 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 We believe in it to be an awesome door. Praise God. Amen. So are you spending time? And we will just pause right there. We'll next week. We will, I believe we're going to continue with this thing of time because there's something God yes. wants to invest in us in this time. And you know what? I just yes. prophesied the word that has been vested. The seed that you have allowed God to be sown into your land it is going to bring forth a harvest. We prophesy you will never be the same again. You will never look at the clock again because remember the clock has a message and that message is don't play with me. I'm here for your benefit. I'm really here to help you, uh, but nothing's going to stop me. I'm going to keep going forward. Uh, now, will you flow with yeah. me, praise God, or will you keep on drifting? Uh, will you make the shift or you keep on drifting, praise God? Uh, but God is beckoning you forward, praise God. Uh, the clock is moving, calling us to move. Uh, uh, move and look yeah. at the authority that yeah. God has given us. He's given us authority to speak. Spend time. You know, you can spend time with your friend, praise God. You guys can laugh and have a great time. That's being focused. That's being intentional. I'm going to spend time. That's how you get to know each other, praise God. Moving forward. Tasha says, and she says, I'm moving forward. Amen. I am too, Tasha. So we pray for God to just stir this word up within you. Father, we ask today, Lord God, let time never be the same to us. Let us know the joy of time and the power of time and the choices that you've given us to make in time and the blessings, Lord God, that we can sow in time. Oh God, the refreshment of time and the rest of time, oh Father God time oh father god for all things you said oh father god not for rituals not trying but oh god to be a freedom lord god have a freedom of movement to spend time lord god to recognize that we have the authority to spend time and not let time spin us god if we're gonna rest lord god let us kick our heels back and uh throw our feet up let us rest all we want but let us do it with intention know why we're doing what we're doing we're not gonna get burnt out yeah. on nothing we're not gonna get so busy going about we're gonna languish in the presence of the lord god is gonna be our yes, retreat god. god is gonna be our refreshing place praise god in his presence we're gonna marinate in the presence of god walking through this day conscious of time and isn't a beautiful thing if you could walk yes. through this day in peace spending your time in peace Thank choosing i rule out no, you get out of my time. This is my time. And I choose yes. not to spend it yes. with peace. I choose not to spend it with worry. No, you're not going to worry me. You're not going to entertain me. I don't want no parts of you. I choose to spend my time on peace. Huh? Amen. Yes. Praise God. So, Father, we thank you today, God. Visit yes. your wonderful yes. people, Father. Lord, stir us up with this word of time, God. And if you see fit, Father, and give us time, Lord God, we will come back next week, Lord God, and continue, Lord God, in this vein, oh, Father God. But, Lord, we ask you, Father God, because you are who you are, God. Lord, and you have said you have set times of favor, Father. You release the board to come through with that message, times of favor, Father. So, Lord, we thank you for all the precious times, Lord God, that you put in our life, oh, Father God, times for adventure, God. Times, oh, Father God, for just many creative things to do, times to be a witness for you, God, to minister to others, to help others, to sow good seeds, Lord. We thank you for this picture, this field, God, letting us know what we sow in time, God, we can reap a harvest. So, God, let us sow some good news, Father. Let us sow, Father God, the fruits of the Spirit, God. Let us be kind to one another and generous to one another, Lord God. Let us be a blessing, Lord. Let us flow in unity, Father God. Let us sow in your goodness, Lord. Let us sow mercy, Father. Let 
Let us sow your compassion, yes. Father God. Let us be yes. meek, oh Father God. Let us be yes. humble, Father God. Let us be steadfast in time, oh God. Help us to have joy unmovable, Lord. Let us praise you in this time. Let us, Lord God, be intentional with our time, Lord God. Oh Lord, when each one, God, that views this, ever see a clock or watch or anything, Lord God, again. Yes. We ask you, Father, yes. for this blessing that you will remind them of this day, God. And Lord God, that you give yes. time to them, time to us as a gift to make our lives shift. So, Father, let us be found spending time and not allow time to yes. spend us, praise God. And God, to you be the yes. glory, to you be the praise. Can we just take 30 seconds and praise God? We bless you. We thank you so much, God. We exalt you. We love you, Father. Thank you for your breath. Thank you for your wind, oh, Father. Thank you for refreshing, oh, Father, God. Thank you and praise you, Father. You're amazing. Your love is amazing, Father. You are the God of hope. You keep on blessing us, Father. You keep on doing great things for us. You keep on making a way for us, Father. Glory to your name. Praise be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Praise God. We pray you come back and view this again. We pray you share it on your Facebook page or what have you. But we yeah. pray, God, that, that you would have, we pray that you would have value, value of God's word. Praise God. That this time will yeah. find you yeah. being intentional and you will show that Thank you could get the essence, that we could get the essence of what God is saying. Praise God. Thank that God. we wouldn't Thank just taste God. and waste, but we would taste and see that God yeah. is indeed good. God bless you all. Have a great day. Hold on. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Lord.